Hey everyone, this is Art from Go Measure 3D, and this is a quick surface tutorial. Today, let's take a look at how we can align organic models to the global coordinate system. This model was created with the Artec EVA 3D scanner, and if we take a look at our grid and our predefined views, it's just arbitrarily floating in space. It's not aligned in any way that's useful to us. We're going to need to create some reference geometry for alignment. Mapping this reference geometry to parts of the mesh will allow us to move it to a set of desired coordinates. For example, I probably want the bottom of this model to be snapped to the XY plane and for the nose to point into the direction of the Y axis. Creating reference geometry in Quick Surface is very easy. We'll start with reference points, then create lines and snap a plane to them. Let's pick a point from the mesh. When thinking about the new orientation for my model, I think I want this line here to be level to the ground. So I'll create points on the back of the neck and one on the front. This will be useful to snap a plane to later since we need at least three points for a flat plane. Let's create another one. And the last one in the front. Now, as you see, I'll be able to level them out later. Once we have our points created, let's use them to create some reference lines. Use the constructed option and choose two of the points. You can see now we have a line connecting these two points. Let's create another reference line from the intersection of this point and this new line we just created. Click OK, and now we're ready to create a plane. Let's construct a plane from the primitives we just created. Select the two lines, and watch as our new plane snaps level to them. If you want this model to sit higher on the coordinate plane, we can just create another plane and offset it off of this one. Just type in the new offset position and click OK. We now have plenty of reference geometry to complete our alignment. Go to the Align by Coordinate System option. I recommend snapping the primary feature to the largest surface, in this case being this plane. For our secondary feature, we want to orient the nose in the direction of the y-axis. So let's click on this line and select the y-axis. Notice that we're upside down. You can always flip the orientation. For our last feature, let's use a point to center this model over the origin. Click Apply, and let's delete our reference geometry since we no longer need it. Now let's check our predefined views. And that's it, our model is properly aligned. I hope this video has been helpful and thank you for watching.